Hey guys, I'm headed to Berry College in up in Rome, Georgia this morning. So I stayed at the Fairfield Inn. It's pretty good Marriott. So I try to stay at Fairfield Inns because Fairfield has free breakfast. I like staying at hotels where the doors are inside of the building to your room and not outside. Uh, one of my student uh, workers is, uh, you know, he, he's helping me out on this project uh, for a grade for his class for this virtual reality project we're working on. And uh, it, 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 the virtual reality project deals with the bloodstream and, and animals, uh, specifically a dog and a horse. I'll put a, a, um, a link to the video and a card, and I can also put a link down in the description as well. So, but here we are, uh, heading up, and I'll keep you guys updated as we go along. Here we are, this beautiful drive. <laughs> so as it becomes more like kind of like the foothills of the mountains, I can, I'll show you guys what that looks like if you've never been to the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains in Northeast Georgia. Or actually, this will be Northwest Georgia now, uh, where I'm getting, but you can see some of these hills starting to come up. And uh, so yeah, there you go. So I just got here. This is a beautiful campus. I mean, this is the view when you first come in. Apparently there's a building out here that looks like you're in Hogwarts. I'm not sure where that is, but maybe I will see it soon. Hey look, I'm a patient. Well, I'm not, but look at this, it's crazy. These things kind of freak me out. I'm not gonna lie. But they do this to practice yeah. on patients. Right, Robert? Yep. Maybe so, we'll be the patients today. Uh, no. <laughs> Doing some trials and clinic. Pretty cool with the Vive. And you still got all these freaky things. walking out of the Barry College nursing area and then but I've noticed this really cool thing on the wall here Tom Waits the world is a hellish place and bad writing is destroying the quality of our suffering pretty sweet hey guys so all in all it wasn't a bad um, it wasn't too bad uh, we still have a lot of things we need to work out with the virtual reality uh, demos. Um, uh, Got to make sure we're running with a new script, but for the most part, most most of the students were able to go through it without any, with little to no help. Had a couple students in trouble with it, but you know I have a theory that people who aren't used to uh, gaming and game technology have a they have a difficulty with it anyway. So yeah, overall not too bad. I'll tell you what I really want to do is I want to check out some of this campus. So maybe I'll show you guys around a little bit. So guys, I'm in my car now. I'm going to see if I can find the Ford building. Uh, apparently the Ford building here looks like something out of Hogwarts. I got to find it. I've been driving around. I can't find the freaking the building. We'll find it. And we'll go look. It'll be cool. And we'll go look. It'll be cool. And we'll go look. It'll be cool. So I think I might have found it. I'm going through. I mean, this is a really pretty campus. Um, gotta go around this roundabout thing. And they have to yell for me. But I don't know if you can see that over in the distance, but I think this is it over here. We're gonna check it out. But we will look. It's the admissions office. So we will look and see. I think they're waiting for me to come forward. Yep, thank you. And then we're gonna go around this way. I know this is East Mary Hall. So I don't know where the Ford, maybe it's over there. Maybe that's that building over there. We will check it out. So I like it that you could be playing baseball and then I'll go milk some cows at the same time. There you go. 
I might pull out a map. Oh, this is it, Ford Gymnasium. So we're gonna we're gonna get out here and check this out. So my boss told me a story about this place, um, and I forget the name of the lady, but she kind of got Barry College going. You know, I could probably find her name, but apparently she was friends with Ford, the same Ford who created the Ford Motor Company. So she he donated most of the money to get the school going. And then, so she went to England, a friend of hers that was an architect, and he came over and designed, or he designed the, um, this part of the campus, which is the Ford, the Ford building, or Ford buildings, I guess. So they're all in this old English kind of, kind of thing. So we're just, I'm just gonna walk out here. Hopefully nobody, I don't get in trouble for filming. But it's really pretty. It looks like something out of, like Harry Potter would go to school here. I got this truck and they're like staring at me like, what are you doing? It's okay. I'm just looking at stuff. But I think this is it. So that English architect designed all this and they built it using some of Ford's money. And so they named it the Ford building or the Ford complex or don't listen to me, guys. I don't really know. I thought it was a Ford building, but it's a Ford gymnasium, so I don't know. All right, it's time to get back in the car. I'm ready to go home. So apparently there's some old Indian mounds here um, close by. I'm going to go see if I can try to find that. I think it would be kind of cool to go check out. So that's where we're off to now before it starts getting too dark. We can't see it. We're going to go check some Indian mounds out so we can see something really cool. Hey, so I looked up the Indian mounds, and probably not going to happen because... Uh, they close at five, but I did get a goodie bag from the people uh, that invited me to Barry College, and so I just opened this guy up. And in case you were wondering who Miss Barry was, or the, the person who I was talking about earlier that was friends with Ford, who got the money to build a lot of this, Martha Barry is her name, coincidentally. Well, not coincidentally, because it is Barry College. I know that because in my grab bag they gave me, it gave me these coasters. It says education combines the head and the heart. And it says it by, I don't know if you can see that, but it is Martha Berry. Kind of cool. And I don't see that steeple anywhere. But that might be the Ford thing that I was trying to look for. But cool, I got coasters. And I got something that's in a box. Don't know what this is. But I'm about to open it and I'm going to find out. Okay, guys, let's check out what's in the box. What's in the box? I think it is a mug. I love mugs. You guys know I like my coffee. If you haven't seen any of my coffee vlogs, just check them out. This might have to be the next coffee mug that I use in my vlog. It is a purple mug. It's kind of got a matte finish. Ah, Berry College Nursing Research. Oh, that was really nice. I love coffee. This is a cool, I like the way this mug feels. It's a really nice mug. Cool, thanks Barry, I appreciate that. I can always use a nice mug. Thank you so much, guys. It's pretty awesome. And I think that's all I got in my grab bag, but that was really cool, it was really nice of them. So now it's time to start the trek back. I got about three hours and 40 minute drive, so let's get this party started, man. I haven't had any food since breakfast, and it's now 3.45. I'm pretty hungry. Might stop and get some of the, might find some local places or something. So like an oasis in the, on the side of the road on the way back, I found this Fuddruckers. And it's been years since I've been to a Fuddruckers. I'm totally gonna do this. Get a big, fat, greasy, juicy Fuddrucker burger. Let's do this. Look at that, this big two-third burger. Half. Look at all these burger patties. Awesome. Awesome. So I am going to opt out for the bacon cheddar. Third pound. That's what I'm going to get. But look, they got all these nice, all the drinks. If I wanted a beer. And then this is where the magic happens. Boom. And then when I get my burger, I can put all these cool toppings on it. So 
can do whatever I want. Look at all the decorations. Blues Brothers. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very excited about my burger. And then they got the drink machines. I'm excited. I can't wait to get this going. Eat a big fat burger. Yum. So they give you a burger. I put all this on there, but I put all the produce. But they just give you the, the burger that you order, and then I put all the produce on there and kind of put a bunch of <laughs> mustard into the mayonnaise. But when I was checking out, I guess the manager told me to try this. It's a bourbon glaze. So if you ever come to Foot Records and you want to try something that tastes awesome, this, the bourbon glaze, is pretty fantastic. So I put a little bit of frown there and eat it. That's good. All right, so I'm going to eat this. I'm going to let you guys know what I thought. I mean, this is a fat burger, man. I'm going to be so stuffed. Yum. Well, I guess I can say that was good. I ate almost everything. And now my tummy hurts. So they say you're either a, a Beatles person or you're an Elvis person. There's Elvis over there in the corner. <clears throat> you can't be both. And it's funny because these are faced right across from each other. So at this particular restaurant, they're in constant battle. And then you got the Rolling Stones over by themselves to be the cool, the cool kids on the block. So, <clears throat> not the best burger I ever had, but not bad either. I mean, for the price, I mean, I could have probably went to another place, got something better. My only complaint was that the burger didn't seem fresh. It seemed like it had been previously frozen and they just put it kind of on the, uh, the grill like that. But I like that they have all the fresh vegetables. You can put whatever you want on it. And I did like the bourbon glaze sauce. That was pretty good. I mean, the guy, the manager was like, hey, you should try this. And they apparently have a burger that's a bourbon glazed burger that's got um, blue cheese on it and that bourbon salt. And that would probably be really good. I feel like if they had more fresh burgers that were pre-made, like they made them right then, that they were probably one of the best burgers I've ever had. Anyway, time to get back on the road. And uh, I got a full belly and time to get on. I got a full road in front of me and a full belly. So time to get some miles under my belt. I'm ready to get home, guys. Atlanta traffic. So I finally got off of 85. I went all the way, you know, I had to go down 75 to 85 North and then I get on 316. This is the last kind of big road I get on before I get to Athens. And from here, it's about an hour's drive, maybe 45 minutes, but tonight it's probably gonna be a lot longer. I don't know if you can see there's red lights forever. Never seen this on 316 before. This is new for me. Um, must be a wreck or something. Google didn't tell me what was going on, but yeah. Yay, nighttime driving. Hey guys, so I just pulled up at home. Uh, it's really dark because it's so late and I'm so tired. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Had a lot of fun. I'm glad you guys could tag along and just see kind of like you know, the day of me traveling and showing off some uh, virtual reality stuff that I work on for my game development. So thanks for hanging out and uh, I'll see you next time we tune in. Good night, guys. Take it easy. <laughs>